doesn't take long on the Grand Canyon Loop Walk to start entering the wonderful lush green forest. This walk has something for everyone. Kids, and actually big kids like us, are going to love this little part. Come with me. Ooh. So green, so lush, and this is after the fires. As you can see, not all of the Blue Mountains burn. Something you'll notice when you start doing the Grand Canyon walk is that you'll have the constant sound of running water. And that's actually really key for the other kind of user group, apart from bushwalkers and hikers, who make use of this track. This water has carved out one of the really popular beginners canyons in the Blue Mountains. So if you're thinking of giving canyoning a go, maybe check out one of the commercial operators up here there's a whole bunch of them and get them to take you down and show you the wonders of canyoning. It's here that you do start to see evidence of the fires. What is so heartening though is that it's quite patchy and it's just an indication of the incredible work that National Parks and the RFS did working together to try and save really precious and amazing places like the Grand Canyon Walk. If you reckon you know all the shades of green in the world, maybe come on down to the Grand Canyon Loop Track, just outside of Blackheath, in the Blue Mountains, and discover a few new shades of green. Parks have done an amazing job to get this cleaned up and reopened for visitors, people like you and me, to come up and connect to the green stuff. Jeez, it's good for the soul. This is the kind of walk where there's not just one good lunch spot, there's loads all the way along. So make sure you come with everything you need, your water, your snacks, your lunch. Tell someone where you're going. Bring a warm layer and a raincoat. Bring a map and take all your rubbish with you. Lizards, fish, yabbies, amazing bird sounds. Oh, it's so encouraging. What goes down must come up again. Whew. This Grand Canyon Loop Track has some incredible landscaping work. In fact, so good, they've won a Conservation Landscaping Heritage Award from the National Trust. And would you believe there's over 1,200 of these incredible sandstone blocks that make up the track? Definitely worthy of an award. Nice work, Parks, nice work. And the big climb up those steps at the end, that is if you're going in an anti-clockwise direction, make it all worthwhile with this incredible view at the top. Yeah, it's a bit of a misty moody day today, but on a clear day, you can see straight down the gross, absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm.